Xin chào, what's up everybody? All right, we just did the Ban Mi Festival. Now we're gonna walk around. I'm gonna show you some tourist areas. The tourists are back. I mean, I'm, we just watched, I don't even know, 50 tourists just walk by in a matter of a minute. They're fully like, when I walk to the Ban Mi Festival, there is like, I kid you not, you'll see as we go over by the post office in uh, uh, the cathedral, they're everywhere. They've infiltrated. The Ban Mi Festival is easily the most successful festival I've ever seen at the culture of the youth. Uh, you can't even walk around in there right now. Food selling, you know, uh, we were sitting around chatting and I wouldn't be surprised they're making close to a billion dong a day between drinks, merch, and food sold. And just a five beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, the rooster place is probably making easy, easy 50, 100 million a day. Like they got one, they let one beer company in and they let one, uh, like, vodka soda company in. And the vodka soda company's product is shit. It's too, uh, it's too sugary. I haven't done it yet either. No. My friend vlogged it and it didn't look that great. But I'm gonna vlog it eventually. So 2027 is now the official timeline for the cathedral. <laughs> Where they gotta ship the shit, the stuff to? Where are they gotta ship it to? Uh, Belgium. Belgium. So everything's gotta get redone in Belgium and then returned. But that's not even the, the, the part. I haven't seen someone in these scaffolding since I came here in 2019. There's no one like actively working on it. I would say this is probably 2030. It looks pretty when it's done. It does look great. But at what point should they have just not have done it? Yeah, no, <laughs> probably should have not. It was in trouble. Was it really? Yeah. yeah. We got high flow traffic. And, and they're saying that the work they're doing for the last 100 years. Jeez. I mean, it is in a prime time location and it does look and beautiful. It's so we're at the peak, peak, Whoa, peak, peak. peak, peak traffic hours of Saigon on a Saturday. Unfortunately, there's a crossing here and it works. It does work. Yeah. They did a good job on this. They did a good job on yeah. the uh, Benthon Market one too. Who lets their girl drive? Xin chào. Hello. Chào em. <laughs> she's waving to me, so I'm not you. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's just waving to the camera. No, waving she to wouldn't, the fucking handsome one. She wouldn't possibly wave at me. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what, you say that on YouTube? Kaum. Oh. He's saying fuk, fuk. <laughs> no cuss words here. This is a, a G-rated family channel. Hopefully the tourists are still all over here. Book Street was packed too with tourists. I was like, whoa, why are there so many on Book Street? Because Book Street's relatively uh, boring. It's books and a street. Not a lot going on but books and streets. There's always people there. But this is a, a really nicer area when you're... This is why they they focus the tourists here. Because look, that, that looks pretty. they keep it pretty clean here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it can, is a good piece you, of architecture. You can, see, you can see they're making a really good. So who put this in? The French? Oh, it must have. It, it's, it's European stone. Yeah, I think the French probably had their yeah. hand in this one. But now it's a Mike This is the old McDonald's. This used to be a prevalent McDonald's location. No longer. Oh, I'm happy the Beatles. Oh, great. Meaning I can't film over here. So there's way more tourists on Book Street. I knew I should have just turned my camera on and filmed earlier. But there's still a lot of people here. Why with the speakers? Why do you do this? All right, so I'm just going to film and, and do it. Wait, wait, no, I'm going to turn it off. See, there's the tourists. As I told you, they're everywhere. They never stop. He could sing with no copyright. You got a fucking... It's crazy, right? YouTube's policy on it is just so, it's insane. So for some reason, Nintendo has some kind of pop-up here where they've got, they're advertising for a new Switch game, I'm guessing, Super Mario. She's taking a photo with Mario and an ice cream cone. And her titties are hanging out. Why doesn't he tell her? I'm gonna be like, hey, the titties are hanging out. 
<laughs> Ciao. <laughs> oh, I gotta edit that out. 40, 45 second mark. Go back and check if there's a titty on there. So, like, two hours ago, I kid you not, there was a hundred tourists here, dude. There were so many here. It might have, well, there's a lot of, have you seen the influx of the Indians? It's been huge. I think Indian chicks are pretty hot, actually. Some. Correct. Correct. But some are really hot. They just, what I think what happens is they have a kid and then yeah. once you have the one kid, you either get serious about getting in shape again. Or... <laughs> I've had three kids. Why do you think I'm so fat and broke? I ran away from my family in America. Charlie. <laughs> I mean, this is still pretty good demonstration of tourists. We're seeing them every second. Tourists, 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 tourists. It's starting to get a little bit of the old pajam pre pre COVID. Well, they're gonna they're gonna circulate around a few tourist areas and cycle. I definitely think once the 90 day thing comes out, you're just gonna see a massive, massive influx. Because the big you want to know why the 90 day thing's a big deal is because it's multiple entry. Yeah. So. Hundred percent. Go to Cambodia for a while. Go to Thailand for a while. You've got freedom to go do whatever you want. And a lot of travelers like freedom. Crossing the street. Thank you, Kia. Na 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 na. I mean, me and Paul had a fantastic time at the the Bami Festival. That's easily the best festival I've ever yeah. been to. Absolutely. I can't recommend it. If you watch the Bon Me Festival, and since it comes out tonight, and if you're in Saigon, you would be insane not to go there tomorrow and check it out. You'd be absolutely crazy. Go check it out. You've got a taste of every kind of Bon Me in the country. I do not need dinner tonight. No, no, no. I've got like 10 Bon Me's in my bag. I'm going to give them to my wife. <laughs> Here's dinner. But you had, you had Bon Me from Hanoi. You had Bon Me from Dalat. You had Bon Me from Saigon. You had Vung Tao Bon Mi. You had every region's Bon Mi. There was even a Mekong Bon Mi there. I mean... It was a Bon Mi celebration. It was. It really was. And they did it properly. They did it so well. Like, in fact, that venue wasn't even big enough to house the people. It was overrun. By the, by the time we left, it was probably 100, 100 degrees in there. Like, it was getting hot. But it proves that if you do something different, Vietnamese people are even keen to see that because it was 98% Vietnamese. And guess what? They were probably listening to Baton Broke, who said a year ago, Let's I'm do a bloody Barbie festival, <laughs> but God's sake, you people, listen to me! <laughs> no, I'm not that arrogant, but <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. I don't know. It, I, I have no idea because I can't read Vietnamese. Um, it seems to be more um, battery die we switched out more pretty than actually I mean this whole area is for tourists yeah. look there's no garbage very difficult yeah. to find garbage the streets are beautiful yeah. all, all the architecture is great it all matches I mean this is the why do you think I shoot 80% yeah. of my videos here it's fucking gorgeous it gives a good representation of, of Saigon this will be like, what will happen with District 1 is they'll do like they did in Cambodia, in uh, Phnom Penh. Yeah. They have like a District 1, the yeah. one I stayed in, and they'll make it all nice. Yeah, like this is just the first start, and then they'll start spreading out in all District 1 and clean it up everywhere. And then they'll have one clean district that like tourists kind of are always in, so then it brings that representation that it's really clean and really nice. And that's where the cops stay overnight and stay out. Correct, they're, they're, correct. They're 24-7. Correct. When they when they when they caught this when they caught this guy with the laptop, they chased him off the bike. It took the cops 25 minutes to show up. 25 minutes, and the cop shop is a block away from where it happened. Like literally a block away. And like 10 dudes had to hold him the whole time because he was he looked like he was kind of on meth, so he had like the superpower. You know? Oh, it's a pretty building. Big eyes. Hey guys. You know, I like a woman with nice eyes. 
Who doesn't? Two is good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One tends to put got me some off. more photo girls over here. Yeah. Oh, look, isn't it amazing? That you, like, I, I, I walk past these people and there's, there's girls that aren't too pretty being photographed by someone that's more handsome than the person that took a photograph. Wow. I like the all girl scene it, it, here. Instagram is a weird thing. Like the all girl scene, like we just showed with the girl with the Calvin Klein on, that's a but big it, thing here. But it, it's also. A, it tells you about society now. 100%. You have to be pretty to be fucking good. Of course. To, to exist. Oh, that's, Matt, a, that's, that's fucking shameful. I guarantee you, if I was as skinny as I was when I started the channel, I would already be more successful. Because people do care about looks. Even dudes, but when they're watching. You can't call yourself. Fat and stupid. broke. <laughs> but if I was in really and good, you wouldn't win an Oscar. If I was in good physical shape, I guarantee you, I'd be probably at like fifty or a hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, fit and masculine. Because it pays it. Like people are like that now. We're programmed by Instagram, by watching social media. That you know, you've got to be attractive. But there's twenty thousand people that think that is wonderful. <laughs> Twenty-four thousand now. Oh yeah, but there you go. I, I, that's not so bad. Ah, it's not bad at all. Hey. That's bigger than every one of those twenty-four thousand are fucking the base. I agree, and that's still more people than in a stadium, right? Yeah. How totally. many people? Yeah, yeah. how a many stadium people? Stadium of people think you're kind of all right. Okay, okay. to hit that okay. subscribe button. <laughs> Not so ugly. So I'm going to talk about the roundabout. Oh fuck. So I really didn't like the roundabout at first, but it, it, it has made driving around in Vietnam in this area like a hundred percent more efficient so i'm gonna backtrack on my stance i support Hi, the roundabout yeah. beer why okay. do you think we want beer yeah, do we look like guys that want beer we must look like guys that want beer yeah we kind of have both <laughs> we, had a, we had a few pints yeah but when, when, what we pay for those four he want to charge us nah he'll only charge 20k for that maybe he'll try to up us to 30. But then you can mess with them and be like, Makwa, mother trucker. Makwa, do ma. Makwa, too much. Cost too much. Makwa. Makwa. It's an easy one to learn. So we're out on Boy Vane earlier than usual. I've got a lot of shit to edit, so that's why we're wrapping up this second one, and then I'm going to head home with the wife. Paul's going to go out and be a degenerate. <laughs> You walk here too, right? You you, yeah. you, you walk like I do, yeah. yeah. Like, we're getting closer and closer to my home, so uh, it's all good. It's perfect. I don't need a pee. Yeah, we're going pee right now. Yeah. That's where I'm directly walking to. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, you chucked it at the yeah. end, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nailed it. <laughs> Let's see. Does he have what it takes? Let's go, bro. Chai! Nice! <laughs> oh, a, I had a lot of air on that kickflip, man. You get good by practices. They're getting better. Yeah. Because the same crew comes out here. They're getting better as like the months go. There's a skate park in District 7 now. Somebody told me. The exact place I said where you could really only build a skate park. That's like the size of a uh, Motoco. Ah, okay. Same size as Motoco. Wow. Very small. Yes, one meal. But she's black. All black. I don't like the all white. The all white's too too hard to keep clean, bro. Will they fit in the microwave? Yeah! <laughs> Motoco fits in your... Oh, air fryer. Motoco fryer. fits in your pocket, bro. Yeah, she's like in the pocket. She's a sweet dog, though. I prefer girl dogs. I've always had more luck with girl dogs than, than guy dogs. Did you ever have any dogs? No. Never a dog man? Never, never a dog. So did you have cats then? Yeah, mom had a cat. Mom had a cat. Can't stand cats. Uh, I don't like the litter box. I don't like the whole... Uh, we lived in a unit and... and but she had the ice in years. Jesus, that's an old cat. My grandma had a cat that lived 20 years. Susie. Meanest cat in the world, man. You go up to touch it and it just. 
and it killed like 10 birds a day. <laughs> like it just was, it was just a fierce predator like out hunting all the time. And it would eat like half the bird and leave it at the front door. So people love coming here still, don't they? But uh, it does nothing for me. Winway? Yeah. I just come here to do information. I, I struggle. Yeah, there's nothing to do here. It, it's, it's, it's a place to walk. 100%. A, a nice breeze through. Yep. yep. It's nice. I do it because there's always something good on camera. Yeah. And it's better than me sitting on the couch and reading yeah, a yeah, news I, article. I, I totally like, who would want to see me sit on the couch and tell you okay, about some news? Now get some money. Come on. Money, 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 money. Ting, 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 ting. Yeah, fucking, don't take pictures and walk away. Yeah, but that's Vietnamese thing. Yeah, come on. The tourists take good care of them, though, now. I stood out here the other day, a lady took one picture, she put 200k in, yeah, how in the box. That? How did that? So she just took care of everybody for five hours. Yeah. I estimate these guys make at tops a million, maybe 1.5 a night. Oh, okay. But you add that up, no, if they're out here 31 days, look, look, like students or, or think about it, they're out here 31 days, yeah. that's 31 million, dude. Yeah. That's well above the median. And it's hard work. This dude's standing here not moving. The fishing rod. Birds. All right, so the tourists are here. You kind of actually just heard pretty much an interview between two expats that live here. It was good watching your video. <laughs> and if you film the statues, suddenly running away, yeah. the cops come. That's <laughs> that's the, the, the time in the yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. The tourists are back. It's the largest amount I've seen. Same with him. Go to the Bombing Festival. This video will come out in the morning on Sunday. So go I'm to that Bombing. Just Saigon people. Come on, let's go. Yeah, everybody go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Peace out.